we're up here today, gonna go try and get some few squid. Um, come north again, the, we had a week and a half of good water down home, but um, two days ago, the dirty water come back in. So I've just come up the coast a little bit, looking for that little bit cleaner water again. Um, yeah, not sure how we'll go, but we'll see what happens. Just gonna have a quick little flick with a watermelon pearl in a 100 mil minnow, um, see how we go. It's full moon tonight, um, so not really expecting to catch too many snappers, but might get the odd one or two. I've actually forgotten a hat, so I don't know how long I'll last today, but we'll see how we go. There was a heap of bait sitting here, so um, I just thought I'd have a quick go before we go get some squid. When you see a few fish, you've got to have a look and see what they are. Um, did look like there was a couple of quality snapper marks amongst that school of bait fish, so we'll see what we can find. That feels like a snapper. We're all about maybe 100 metres from the boat ramp. We haven't gone very far yet. Uh, definitely not the early bird this morning. It was about eight o'clock before the boat hit the water. It's not a bad little start. First little snapper for the morning. Um, I forgot my little handheld stick today, so I'm gonna be working with a few different angles. Um, little snaps and get him off. It's only a little fella. Uh, we'll let him go and get another one. Keep a signs on the sounder there at the moment. Some good fish amongst Thanks them, I'm pretty sure. Um, time he should be able to see them there with the, these ones here, those bigger ones. Pretty sure they're little snaps. Just come back up onto the school of snapper. You can see these marks here underneath the bait. They're um, they're the snappers. They don't look like big fish, but that's definitely what they are. So we've just gone over a school of them. They're just back behind the boat, probably about oh, five or 10 meters. And a couple of bit better arches just there. Hey, they might be better fish. Look at that one. That individual one there, that's a good fish. The wind's been blowing all night. It's um, been blowing north, pretty much straight north all night. Um, the ocean's a little bit messy still, but uh, it's not too bad. And it's only supposed to be pretty light, real close to the coast for a while. Um, southerly change coming through late to Sava about three o'clock. So we'll fish up till then and see what happens. Oh, we got another snapper. Not a big fish, but still target species for the morning. Good to see them around in such numbers. Um, pretty good sign of a healthy system. Another little snaps. And the water's definitely a lot um, cleaner up here than it has been back home. So, so what's that, three or four fish? Same lure. Oh, I dropped him. Oh, we got another little snaps. That's three in five cars. Um, be nice if they were better fish, but good to see a few little ones around. That one's actually taken my plastic by the looks of it. Oh no, he's just, the plastic's just down his mouth a bit more. I'm gonna get him off the hook. Come here, fella. Another little fish. And yeah, that's done. You get another one. Throw it out. So here's what I'm using. What are they called? Uh, four inch, 10 centimeter minnow watermelon pearl. They are the go in clear water, especially hay. Definitely my go-to plastic for snappers. A lot of people don't like using the gulps because they get bitten and chewed up so much, but 
I would rather have a, a soft bait that works and um, have to replace it more regularly than have something that doesn't work. That's him there. Um, yeah. What I might do while we're drifting through here is just chuck the squid jig out the other side. Um, I was up here uh, two weeks ago on the day of the new moon and got a heap of all right squid, so that's pretty much what I've come back here to target today. I've just seen the snapper, so I was just gonna have a quick go because they're there. Still running the same little squid jig that I've been running for the last couple of weeks. Uh, plenty of squidding on it, as you can see. It's been doing the damage. We'll just pop that out this side here. We're in about 30 foot of water, so well, 35 foot, just cast out about 10 metres from the boat, just let it waft down towards the bottom and um, shouldn't actually get snagged, so we'll see what happens. Look, our plastic's all kinds of... That is the problem with the gulp, but well, you'd rather be doing that and changing your plastic occasionally and catching some good fish than getting nothing. Another brand new packet right here. Always got heaps of plastics in the boat with me. Another one there, ready to go. Let's get him out. Some hungry little predators down there. I think they're little leather jackets, little pike, maybe. I don't know. We'll give it one more go. We'll put one more plastic on, have a bit of a flick, and then we'll move on from here. I'm not gonna go to chew all my plastics up on pikes and leather jackets and little snappers, so. Can't see too many quality marks there on the screen. A lot of little things. Um, nice and straight, straight down the middle of the lure. I think I'm running a, a quarter ounce jig head with a 1-0 hook. Nothing left for that plastic. It's only been down there for, oh, I don't know, a minute. If that, that was my first car, so going to call it. Windier than I would have liked. Um, I knew it was going to be windy today, but we'll see how we go. It's straight north at the moment. There's a few spots we can hide out of the wind, so we'll um, we'll keep at it for a little bit. Uh, see how we go. Here's what we'll be using: little green and orange number, three gram. Had this one for a while. It's caught plenty of squid. It's taken a little while, but we finally got one. Doesn't feel like a monster squid, but it's a squid. Ooh. He's a tiddlywink. But what we might actually do is put that one out as a live bait. There he is there, guys. He's only a little one. We'll use him as a live bait, try and find a few kings. Hooked up our second one. That one's similar size to the last one. We'll put him in the live bait tank and have a couple of casts for see if we can get a bit bigger ones. What do you got? Oh no, he fucking got me. Mother bitch. <sighs> well that didn't exactly go to plan. Um, he squitted and I thought I'd avoided it, but the wind brought it back on me. He just inked into the air. The wind blew it on me. Another little one. We'll put him in the live bait tank. We're just gonna cruise back up against the wind. Um, we'll come back down with the wind and the current with our live baits and um, see how we go. Just gonna drive up here a bit. So I got a combination. I got a couple of little squid and a couple of um, little yakas for live baits. There's our second live bait, we're just gonna hook him. I really should have a stinger hook there, but as soon as I notice one of these rods get a bit of a bump, I'll knock it out of gear and let him sink down. If I see anything on the sounder, I'll um, knock it out of gear and let him sink down. Heap of birds out here working. It's a little bit wild out here for me. I don't want to go too far out, hey? 
I might even stick the life jacket on just for a bit of safety. I am here one out, so if something goes down, it's always good to have something that's going to float me. Worst case situation. Um, we found a quiet corner, just put the garfish down, um, got hit straight away by a squid. I've switch baited the squid onto my jig and we've caught him. It's not a bad one, I'll give you a look. Not a bad fish. Make some beautiful rings out of him. Oh guys, you didn't see any of it, but I just lost an all right little kingy. I was just towing one of these little Gan Nan jigs around, just mapping the bottom, doing a bit of prospecting and um, had one of these out the back, a red and blue one, red nose, blue back, and it just got smoked. Um, I was only running 16 pound leader, it got me into the rocks and um, it was all over pretty quick, but I'll put another one on, I'll tighten the drag a bit more and we'll um, go around for another look. I probably should upgrade the leader to, actually I will do that. All right, I'm running 25 pound leader on this one. It's only a short leader, that's why I was a bit reluctant to do it, but I think this is going to be better than the 16 pound I was just running that I got smoked on. See how he goes. Fingers crossed we get another one, eh? All right, we're at 12 RPM at the moment. Uh, boat speed's 5.6, 5.8 kilometers an hour. Consistently 5.6, 5.7. We've got something. I don't know if it's a kingfish, but we've got something. Feels like a bonito or a little Mac tuna. <laughs> ah. Beautiful sushimi, these guys bled and looked after properly, hey? There he is there. Nice little fish. Um, yeah, we might keep him for a bit of fresh bait or something. I might even eat him. Little Gan Nan jig. Hard to get in Australia, but um, I usually buy them off the guy at the Caravan Camping Expo when he comes to the bay. Yep. How's it all going? The video's too long. Too long? Too long. Too long. How long do you want them? Four or five minutes? I don't know. Yeah, five minutes. Like everything I speak on for me, personally, everything I speak on YouTube, like it goes to too long, I won't watch it. Yeah. I'll, I'll ring you back in 10 minutes. This other is just about to hit. Yeah. I'm just going to move. All right, lad. Catch ya. It's nice and calm in the corner here, and I thought I might have a quick go for some squid. First cast, we've got a little one. It's always a good sign. Oh, there's a bigger one behind him. So, Oh, there's another two behind him. So we'll just get this little one in. Oh, there's three. Always away when you're rushing. Oh, we got one. There we go, straight onto another one. Hopefully we can get the other couple as well. Yeah, we got another one. Whoa. Not a happy camper, that one. None of them are massive squid, but squid all the same. Yep, there's a better one. That's a good squid. Well, you can see that didn't take too long. I think we've only had two casts. We've caught six squid. Five squid, four squid. Either way, it's not too bad. Just shows it's always worth that last little effort sometimes. When the conditions look good, you should just trust. Trust your gut instinct and give it a quick go if you've got time on your hands. 
Oh, look, there's another big one behind him. He's coming in for the jig. Oh, look, we've got another one. Can't complain about that, eh? That's um, squid after squid after squid at the moment. Just on the southerly change. Don't know if it's changed the pressure or this is the corner they've just been hanging in all day or the nor'easter has been howling into this corner all day. So wouldn't have been very comfortable to fish in before, but now the southerly's up. I just pop that squid jig straight back out there. I have no doubt there'll be another one on that in a minute. I'll just show you these two squid. There's the second one. There's the first one. Well, this has been a productive little five minute session. I might change the, some of the settings just so you can see my icons a bit better. I did notice on the last lot of footage that, um, or all the lots of footage that every time I've showed you, you can't really see what's happening. So definitely the map, I'll make the icons bigger so you can see them. All right, we've got another one on. Another decent sort of one by the feels of it. Just trying to manoeuvre him around. Hopefully he's got a couple more with him. Oh, he's got a couple of thumpers with him. There's a couple of big ones really just next to him. So we'll get this one. Well, there's one. No, there's two. There's another two big ones there. There's a... We've doubled up, there's still another. We've got the second one on. I got the first one here in the net. There's still another one there with that second one. I have to be honest, this is probably one of the better squid sessions I've ever had. That's two, they're another two good ones. Kinda gotta sit over the net now because see if the third one's still there. I can't see him. There's so much ink in the water at the moment, but it's uh, it's understandable I can't see him. I reckon he'll still be there somewhere. Give you a quick look at these two and I'll put them away. There's another one there. Another one. All right, well, I don't know where that third one done went, so we'll just cast back in over that way. Oh, we're on, we're on straight away. Haven't even put any movement on the jig. Don't know if it's the same squid. We'll just bring him over to the boat real slowly, I find is the key. If you bring him over slowly, the rest of the school will actually come with him. Feels like a decent fish. That live bait tank of mine's gonna take some cleaning after this session. There's a, <laughs> there's squid ink going everywhere in there at the moment. I can hear them all just squidding nonstop. Inking everywhere. Surprised there's not a few dudes off the rocks here catching the squid that's Easy casting range off the rocks. Oh, there's bait moving behind me. That'd be another school of squid. We'll get this one. Can't see any others with this one. Not a bad size hoodie, probably about 25 centimetres. There's another one. Mm. 
and we're on to another one. This one's not a big one by the feels of it. Um, yeah, we got a few little ones there. We'll, we'll just use them for bait. We'll take them dewy fishing for a dewy session. We'll take a few up the coast for a kingy session next week. And um, yeah, the big ones will cook up, be delicious. Jasmine and my little daughter and I will um, eat squid non-stop for the next couple of weeks. Um, I always just freeze them up straight away, keeps them nice and fresh. And then um, just pull them out as I need them. Just doubled up again. We got another little one. Um, like I said, oh, he's, he's probably a bit bigger than the one that's in the net, but not a monster. Be perfect, perfect baits for jewfish or kingies. Um, so yeah, going to keep a few of them. Just going to put a little bit more um, scent on the lure. While they're visual hunters, um, they can still smell and anything that smells tasty or gets in their nose buds, I'm sure they're more likely to have a go at than something that doesn't smell at all. All right, well, we're down to our last GoPro battery. I haven't been charging them up off the 12 volt. I wasn't sure if I was doing damage to the batteries or not. So I've just stopped until I find out if I am. Um, so yeah, I'll just be a little bit, well, this has got a bit of squid still stuck to it. That's one thing they won't be keen on. If there's still squid stuck to the actual jig, they'll know it. We've got another bit bigger one. Another good sized squid. Just cast out, let it sink down a little bit more than what I have been. And um, yeah, it's paid off. No one around today, it's a Thursday. Um, yeah, quiet little afternoon. Been a good little session, this little afternoon session. Um, yeah, plenty of squid. Hope you've enjoyed the day. This will be the sign off from Flax Fishing. Um, yeah, sick one. Stoked you watching me videos and um, I'll keep pumping them out for you. Hopefully you learn a thing or two and you enjoy the content. Um, be able to get out there and get yourselves a feed pretty shortly, I would imagine, some of the stuff I've showed you. Um, it's not that difficult, just get out there and keep on trying. Another nice little squid. Another nice little squid. Something's had a good go at him there, he ran the head, and I know. lost a twentacle at some stage. All right, got another one. I don't know how big this one is. He doesn't seem to be doing too much. Only a little one, I think. We'll just pop him, pop him off and bring him up. See if there's any bigger ones with him. Usually they're all the same size that come in together. 
Look, there you go, there's another two little ones following him up. We're just going to let these ones go. Can you see there's another two there with him? They just follow one another up all the time. That other one's actually a little bit bigger than this one. Let's see if he wants to come up and... Nah, see, I think when you let them go, they piss off and the school goes with them. Yeah, so usually, like, if you don't want to keep those little ones, you just stick them in your net for a few minutes just till you catch the ones you want to get and then um, let them go. Oh, look, there's still a couple of the, the other two are just hanging out the back of the boat. Oh, I got it. This one feels like an alright one. Just squid everywhere. It's got to be one of the best squid species I've ever had. It was a bit the same when I was up here a few weeks ago for the heap of little squid. Only a few big ones, but heaps of little ones. We're only going to get bigger, these little ones. Another little one, we'll let him go. Oh, oh, don't squirt me, bro. Oh, he's not too bad. We might actually keep him, he can just... There he is there. We'll tuck him in with the others.